Hey guys, what's up? It's Avid Eric. It's time to unbox another BAM box for this month. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. It feels pretty light. That's strange. These things have been starting to feel a little empty, but hopefully we get some cool stuff. Past couple months did have some neat stuff in it. Usually BAM box has some pretty good pop culture movie type of references stuff. Sometimes it'd be like autograph 8x10s and things. So let's see what the theme is. I see a little robot. The May theme is Space Defend Space Edition. So that's interesting. Right off the top, looks like we have a Groot. And is that a film frame? After his heroic sacrifice during the culmination of the Guardian's first adventure, Groot is now in the process of regrowing his body. So this is a certificate of authenticity back here and it looks like it's a a piece of the film of a film so that's kind of actually that's actually pretty cool i'll be uh checking out the thing at the end of this to confirm what it is looks like we have the war of the worlds hg wells they do provide some pretty cool artwork and stuff in some of these i think that's pretty legit let's check out one more thing oh Tom Kane, and it is a autographed cell from one of the Star Wars Clone Wars, probably. I don't know. I don't follow the Star Wars cartoons. So that was a small thing. There was only those three things in the pin. So it was a little light, a little on the light side, but seems pretty cool. So it's Tweaky the Robot. Tweaky the Robot. So that's from Buck Rogers, I believe. There's only 250 of the black edition I think or one of them so yeah there's three different versions that you can get now it's saying that there was a patch it's saying there's a patch in here but I didn't see the patch did you guys see the patch I didn't see the patch that worries me Okay, so yeah, voice of Yoda. Tom Kane is the voice of Yoda, so I knew his Clone Wars. So there we go. That's pretty cool. And then we have the Gro Groot Volume 2 Premiere Cell. So this is a cell from the 35mm film Premiere Cell. That's, that's actually pretty cool. That's something that you could frame up pretty good. And then, of course, the War of the Worlds, and it looks like there's two different versions. So this box is pretty light. I don't know if I was supposed to get a patch or whatnot, but it's missing. I'm kind of disappointed in that. But as you can see, each month does have some cool stuff. So yeah, be sure to check out the BAM box. I'm going to try to find where that patch went. I don't think I got it. It's not a good sign, but overall, I've had no problems in the past with different boxes. If you want to take a look, I'll have a playlist of BAM box unboxings down below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.